Now, Century Storm used to be uh, an exercise where we really just did aeromedical evacuation and, and the whole idea was to have it at the same time with the National Scout Jamboree or the World Scout Jamboree. So if something really, really went wrong with the scouts, we'd have crews and aircraft available to come in and help with any mass casualty evacuation. But this year I said, okay, we're gonna use Century Storm to build up our full spectrum readiness and I want you all playing hard and no easy aeromedical evacuation and just being around. No, I want you all bringing in our partners. We wanted to show what West Virginia has to offer to train our airmen and our, our soldiers, Marines, all of our DOD for the near peer fight. If we're gonna be practicing like we really want to fight, if that moment should come, in maybe in Eastern Europe, uh, the Balkans. West Virginia has the terrain to really, really simulate that. Uh, I've always been one who says, if you're gonna be training the fight, shadow boxing is not gonna get you to the championship. You gotta get hit every once in a while, you know how to take a hit. So we brought in the 266 range control squadron uh, so that they could use their emitters to, to have our airmen simulate being shot at by anti-aircraft fire, surface-to-air missiles, and be able to react to them and, and react quickly in uh, an environment that's full of mountains and valleys. This gets our people training for the fight more and then adds a little bit more pressure for them to get time over target and drop their loads accurately. And everyone I've talked to from those other units said they wish they could come around here a lot more for training.